Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update your Mac to the latest OS. So right now it's 10.14.5, which is the newest update. So what we have to do is go to our Apple logo, which is on the top left hand side. You guys will see this Apple logo right here. Just click on it. And then your second option will be system preferences. That's where updates are now at. Before they were all in the App Store. Now we have to go to system preferences for these major updates. There are still updates in the App Store, but that's more to do with actual apps. For today's update, we're going to look at iTunes plus the Mac update itself. So let's just click on software update, which is down here. You guys will see it. Let's just click right there. And then this should come up where it's checking for updates. This sometimes can take a while just because your internet speed might not be the most fast. But even if you guys have extremely fast internet, this still takes out quite a bit in order to actually show you what updates come up. So right now it's that update that I showed you guys plus iTunes, which is a quick update. Now both updates are not that big. You're looking at under three gigs overall. So if we expand this out, we can see that this first update is only 2.48 gigs. And then we have iTunes, which is only a couple megabytes. So we're going to click on install now. Now, just make sure right here, we can see the description and it will restart your Mac. So don't do this if you guys are working on your Mac and you guys need to get some stuff done. So just make sure to have everything backed up and all good. Even before you guys install this update, just in case something goes wrong, because things do go wrong sometimes, it's better to make a backup. Now I use Time Machine, which is pre-built on your Mac. You guys can use Time Machine right now in order to back it up. Okay. So if you guys already did that, which I already did, then go ahead and make that update. This update will take no time. It really depends on your internet speed. So I'm going to put download and restart. So again, this tells you five minutes for those almost three gigs in total, but it might take you guys more or less. Again, it all depends on your internet speed. The installation process will take nothing at all. So you're looking at nothing more than 10 minutes. If you guys are stuck this in 20 minutes, sure, that could happen with older Macs maybe that are running a little bit slower and you have slow internet speed. Sure, that could add up to 20 minutes. Anyways, that's how you guys can do this. It's just gonna restart. It's gonna ask you for your passcode if you guys have a passcode in order to get into your Mac. Other than that, there's nothing else. It's not going to ask you for an iCloud ID or something like that once it restarts since it's not a humongous update. That's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.